Well, it's been an interesting winter. We planted some greens in the garden. Videoed Brett turning the garden with this tractor. This is the one that we've he's grown in for several years now. He, I call it the finger plow thingies. He raked the little finger rake thing across it. He had the plow out turning it. This one's about the only one that's really dry right now for him to till and break up. And that's the Mary, Mary Tiller that he has worked on and rebuilt to, uh, I think it was the transmission he had to rebuild in it. He had a video of him repairing this tiller. I thought I'd come out here and video him putting it to use. He's just pretty much just breaking the ground up right now and I think and just the layers of preparation that he goes through every year to get our gardens ready. I don't really all know what all he does. Every once in a while I'll come out and catch it. And it's amazing how much stuff you can find even years. We found old bottles in this yard so far, plowing up gardens every year. We found pieces of metal that's been buried in the ground. There's been all kinds of stuff down in this dirt that we have found over the years. But he's worked it year after year. He worked on it, fixed it. There's still an old stump here buried under a lot of it. Roots There's some from a tree that was in this part of the yard. So taken several years to get this garden to produce what it does but man when it produces it puts out a lot of food and it puts out the food that it does because he every year takes time to do it all, all this stuff over and over it takes a lot of work a lot of preparation he makes sure the ground's good, tries to put the nutrition back into it that it needs, the nutrients and stuff. He knows what will grow what, where. Don't know that he's fully decided yet this year what he's putting in this yard, in this section. Last year we had corn and potatoes and tomatoes all in this area that he's plowing right now but we added another yard another big garden so who knows what we're going to put in this one it'll be interesting we'll just say that he says i can use this tiller but i'm not too sure about it it looks pretty big I think this is supposed to be my tiller. Not too sure I'm cut out for that part of it yet. I think I might just stick to the weeding. I'm good at pulling plant, pulling weeds out of the garden. I can pull junk out of the dirt. Dirt's looking real good right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful. What is this? 19th or 20th of March, I think. Something like that. Uh, it's 21st of March. Yeesh. Time has passed by. It's probably a good, I don't know, 65, 70 degrees out here, I guess. 
pretty and sunny. The color for a batch of cold rain though coming up. It's getting exciting. It's getting about that time to start planting our potatoes and our stuff. I start getting excited when he gets this part of it going because I know before long the plants will leave my house and come to the yard. <laughs> he grows so much of it up in the house. That it's just unreal how much I think he's got like three or four hundred plants growing right now in the house that he started. We have one room that's just dedicated to starting plants in. And we, we have a heater in there and lights and everything. He's got a bunch of them out in the greenhouse that he's got starting, which our greenhouse is pretty small. We just kind of built it as a, with what we had laying around the house. So it, didn't, it wasn't very big when we got it done, but it helps give uh, sunlight to the plants. He's put a lot of them out right now, just let them get up some sun today. The ones that can handle the cool air that's going on right now. Things are so neat. <laughs> we try to do uh, doing this videos and stuff for this a lot just to record what we what we do in case one day our kids want to start doing things. I mean. He learned a lot from his grandparents on gardening and how to do things and mom and dad drove gardens every year and we decided to archive things that he's learned over the years. I don't remember much about gardening from when I was little. My mom and dad would have a garden and my grandparents had a garden. And the biggest thing I remember doing is picking up the potatoes and riding Charlie horse back to the barn. That's what my granddaddy used was a horse and plow. And uh, at the, after it was done, if it wasn't a, a hard day, he'd let me ride the horse back to the, the barn. That's my memories of shucking corn and picking up potatoes. And it doesn't matter how many rocks we take out of this garden, there always seems to be more rocks just back in it. I got a lot of weed and stuff to grow. The yard is growing up. Gotta get the yard mowed. Well, gotta pick up everything out of the yard that's limbs and junk that slot fell in the ground on the ground over the winter. Get the yards ready to mow again. There's just a lot to do when you you have a place like this. I tell Brett we don't I don't know what we'd do if we had a lot more land than what we got now. We'd work ourselves down. Hmm. This keeps us busy. I'm just so grateful that I have a husband that's willing to get out every day and when he comes home from work and dig up a garden and want to grow our own vegetables and I'm not very good at helping him because I don't know a lot about it but I try and He's patient with me and teaching me how to do things. It 
it's rare to find somebody who's got, <laughs> who's got patience to keep teaching the same thing over and over. But this is, I guess you can say, a passion and a drive for him to provide for his family and to know that where his food comes from and the food that he's feeding us, where does it come from? God told Adam, by the sweat of your brow, you'll work the ground all the days of your life. That's really taken that to heart this last few years to prepare a place that will provide food for him and me and our kids. He even grows enough to give to friends and neighbors. It's a work of love. And I'm just thankful I have somebody that wonderful to take this journey with. I know I don't tell him thank you enough for all that he does. But it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication to keep up with all that he does. And I do appreciate it all. And I love him for it. I have no idea what those handles do. He moves one and it goes backwards and moves another one and the things start turning and oh God, I don't know which one does which. I mean so many people today that doesn't know how to do things like this. I'm thankful he does. And he has a want to. And I want to learn more and to understand more and through these videos he's hoping to share what he does know with others oh uh oh I guess he's parking it Now that's got this section of this bigger. Well, this was the original garden. It's no longer the biggest one, but it's what we refer to as the big garden. Hmm. That dirt looks real good too. I don't know, maybe missing something, I don't know. I just know it looks good to me. And for long, we're gonna have rows and I'm not even sure what he plans on putting in it. But I know one thing, when he plants a garden, he does a good job and we get out of it the blessings that the Lord puts into it. Brett always tells me he does his best and leave God the rest. Because when he plants it, it's up to God to make sure it grows. He just has to do what he, has, he knows to do. And, I guess I'm on the board again this year just to see if I can help. I'll try to keep the weeds out a little better, but I don't know. I'll be babysitting a grandbaby this year, so it could be pose a challenge. But I thought I'd show y'all the tiller in action. I know he had a video on him repairing it and rebuilding or doing something with it. But I think it's going to be a good tilt. Y'all have a great day. God bless.